Hey everyone, Chad Mojito here. Welcome to the Mojito channel. I haven't done an AMA FAQ in a long time, and this isn't really one, but I found a bunch of online quizzes. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, because AMAs are actually kind of hard to do at the moment, so in the meantime, I'm just going to do a bunch of fun online quizzes. Uh, here's one, the 50 questions you've never been asked. So it's kind of the opposite of an FAQ, but it can be fun. So let's try it. Number one, what's your favorite candle scent? Uh, I hate candles. I hate them. Uh, I don't like the flame, the way it moves. Uh, I think it's annoying. To I, I don't like having one in my field of vision. And I don't like how candles smell. I really hate candles, except in, in video games when they look neat. But in real life, I really don't like candles. I really like, though, incense. I have a bunch of incense uh, sticks because I, I use them often to uh, perfume the house. I, I really love the smell of incense and also of cracked matches. The best one I have is, uh, the smell is caramel apple. Next, what female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Gotta find someone that's like fun and dependable because that's what you would want a sibling to be I guess and maybe someone who has some connections I guess that could be useful should I choose like a CEO or scientist maybe or, um, or maybe a politician who's uh, female cool and my age also because she's supposed to be my sister so let's be realistic uh Hila Klein Hila Klein works she's uh almost the same age as I am and and uh she's she, she's pretty she's pretty cool she's pretty smart she's got style she's a CEO now of a clothing company yeah great Hila Klein I wish that Hila Klein was my sister. Actually, yeah, it's a, it's a great answer. I'm so satisfied by it. Moving on to next question. What male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Oh, well, this one is served to me on a, on, on a silver platter. Ethan Klein, of course. It's obvious, right? Next, how old do you think you'll be when you get married? Well, I really don't want to get married. I think marriage is kind of stupid and not a good thing. So I think that I, it would take me at least 25 years to change my mind. Or maybe I'll, I'll have a midlife crisis and that's when it will happen. Not soon anyway, because marriage... I have strong prejudice against marriage. Five, do you know a hoarder? Well, not a real one. Uh, but my mom has a uh, serious hoarding tendency. We were talking about it yesterday on the phone. I know a lot of uh, people from her generation, by the way, she's born uh, in 62. I know a lot of people from the early 60s who are low-key hoarders. Anyway, can you do a split? Absolutely not. I'm not really supple. I can do a mean banana split, though. So, uh, that's nice. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Fuck if I remember. Six, I think. Or maybe seven. Oh, how many oceans have you swum in? I don't think I've swum in any ocean at all. I've been a bunch of times to the Atlantic, but usually it's pretty cold. And I'm good at swimming, but I don't enjoy it. I don't like swimming. So when I'm in the water, I like like just uh, chilling and hanging around. I never never enjoy swimming. I've, I've swum uh, in the Mediterranean Sea though, a bunch of times. How many countries have you been to? How many countries have I been to? Well, uh, I assume this one counts as one. So France one. I've been a bunch of times to Belgium. I've been a couple times in Germany, I've been uh, to Swiss, I have been to Italy, that's already five. 
Uh, I've been to Canada. I've been to the United States once. I've been to the Netherlands. Um, have I been to Spain? No, I almost been to Spain, but uh, it didn't happen. Um, I think once I've, I've crossed Luxembourg, uh, but in, like you know, in a car or in a bus, but it didn't stop there. So I, I'm, I'm not gonna count it. And that would be it. That would be it. Um, I, I'd like to visit uh, kind of the, the south in uh, some in during some holidays. Um, Portugal would probably be one of my uh, next destinations, or Greece. I'm uh, hesitating. Oh, probably Greece. Or Portugal would be cool too. I don't know. Next, what was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Uh, probably that show uh, called Quantum Leap, when there was a weird shit from the late 80s, early 90s, where this uh, physics uh, doctor uh, go, went like body hopping and, and he went from a, a, to, to fix some, some issues and it was, it was so fucking weird and there was this uh, weird guy with a computer and shit Quantum Leap uh, I was a big big fan uh, as a kid of that and as far as cartoons go my, my favorite and the ones I have the most vivid um, pleasurable memories from is the Angry Beavers that was uh, off the fucking chain uh, next, what did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? Halloween does not exist here, so... Next is... Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? That's an interesting question. Uh, but there, although there's a lot of diversity uh, in uh, the American accents, and even more in, in the British accents, from a Londoner to a, to a Scotsman, there's a huge difference. Uh, and uh, there's from someone from Detroit to someone from uh, Texas, there's also a lot of difference. I really like Scottish accents, they're pretty neat. Brian Lemon is, of course, amazing accent. Or Peter, Peter uh, Capaldi. If I had to choose an accent, I would probably choose the one of Jim Dodsey, the, the guy who voices the Savior or Negate Angel. Because, uh, yeah, he's got, a, he's got a great accent. Next, what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? I've, I've been asking myself that uh, lately. And Chinese would probably be really useful for me because I live in Chinatown. And I think it would uh, maybe open some doors for me. And uh, it, would, it, would be, it would be at least interesting. So next, do you know triplets? No, I don't think I've ever met twins. Next, do you prefer Titanic or the Notebook? Uh, Titanic is a boat and the Notebook, and I'm not sure what that means, so next question. Have you ever had Indian food? Yes, I absolutely love Indian food. It's not, it's not in my top five, but uh, there's a bunch of uh, Indian specialties. I love naans, whether it's uh, plain naans or cheese naans. Also, I love dal. Uh, and uh, what else? That, that shit that they make with the uh, spinach. So good. Um, uh, is it Saag Paneer? No, that's cheese thing. Um, dal is with the lentils. And there's a... Anyway, there is a bunch of great sauces. I'm not a fan of the way they cook meats. Uh, so that, that's why I never really enjoyed uh, to the fullest um, Indian food. But they, they have some amazing sauces. Next, would you rather live in a rural area or in the suburbs? A uh, rural area. I'm more of a city guy, but the suburbs are for hell. That, that my version of hell. Especially, I guess that they're talking about the American suburbs, which are 
possibly the worst environment uh, imaginable. So yeah, I would rather live in a, a shithole of the countryside rather than in a suburb. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a city person, really. I, I prefer living in, in cities. The convenience of living in a city is uh, really, really important to me. So I couldn't, I couldn't live in the, in the country. I really could not. Uh, next is, can you whistle? Yeah, I'm really good at whistling, actually. Next, uh, do you sleep with a night light? No, I don't, because when I do, I wake up really early and then I can't uh, go back to sleep. So um, when I sleep with a night light, I, I have a tendency to sleep like four hours max. And then, uh, well, I do if I have to wake up like really early, like I know that it will help me, like if I have a train to catch or something like that, but usually I don't because um, when I sleep with the night light, I, uh, I wake up too early and then I cannot fall back asleep. Next, do you eat breakfast every morning? Absolutely not. I eat breakfast when I want to and that's what you should do, by the way. Breakfast, the most important meal of the day is some bullshit from an ad that got blown way out of proportion. You should eat in the morning if you're hungry. Some days I am, some days I'm not, so I eat and I feel the need to and that's what everybody should do. Uh, next is, do you take any pills or medication daily? Uh, yes, I'm on propranolol for um, blood pressure and migraine issues and I take vitamin B also because I tend to lack it, especially B9 and I'm on uh, mirtazapine for mental illness. Uh, major depression disorder and, and such. Next is uh, how many times have you been to the hospital? I don't know, two? Three? Three? Probably, I don't... It's not really a big event usually in my life. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo yet? Yeah, my favorite Pixar film. Uh, next, where do you buy your jeans? Uh, either in supermarkets or online. I'm not a big fashion guy. Uh, next, do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? No, I hate this. I hate remembering my dreams in the morning. It feels like there's a bunch of useless information that is, that is clogging my brain. And yeah, when I remember my dreams in the morning, it feels like my brain is like a clogged drain. I, and it's a feeling that I really don't like. Um, so uh, usually I don't remember my dreams in the morning. Fortunately, it happened to me a lot lately and it was really, really annoying. Next, what flavor tea do you enjoy? I'm not a tea guy. I'm a, I'm a coffee person. I'm not I'm really not a fan of tea, uh, so flavor. Um, I like green tea with mint. It's nice, like um, Arab style or uh, North African style, rather. But uh, yeah, not a fan of tea. Next, uh, how many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Uh, two. I am two, and I should I should uh, buy a new one, by the way, because. They're getting old. Uh, next, uh, what religion will you raise your children to practice? None, uh, absolutely none. Uh, I'm a big uh, partisan of their right to choose what religion they want when they're adults. And I think that teaching a religion to children is basically child abuse. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm really, really against it. If I have children, which probably won't anyway, it's not really in my plans, but um, yeah, I, I won't teach them any religion. And that's the, that's the last question, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I, I hope it was uh, at least a bit entertaining. 
and uh, I'm, I'm gonna do um, other ones because this one wasn't as good as I thought it was uh, but uh, anyway thanks for watching see ya really soon peace